Laws in the UK are a little bit different than here in the US, and people might have to be careful traveling to London or they might end up in jail. Many of these rules we're about to go over might still be in force to this day, but as long as you mind your business and show respect for the Queen, you should do quite alright. Here are the strangest laws in the UK. But first, quick shout out goes to JB Robertson for leaving us this comment in our Egyptian tomb discovery video. I would say the line is drawn when the artifacts are used for knowledge and are displayed to the public as opposed to being sold for profit in someone's personal collection. And before we get to the video, remember to smash that like button and subscribe for new uploads. Number 16. No Salmon Holding Also known as the Salmon Act of 1986, this law was passed by Parliament which states that it's illegal to handle a salmon in a suspicious manner. Basically, you can't be holding on to a salmon and acting fishy. Section 32 of the article is titled Handling Salmon in a Suspicious Manner. Basically, the reason for this crazy international law is because of there's some suspicious people selling salmon who are actually getting it from the black market. It was getting poached fairly often, and if a cop saw someone holding on to a salmon looking kind of fishy, it was time for a shakedown. Number 15. Don't mess with the guards. We've seen people in films always messing around with the traditional British soldiers in uniforms trying to get them to break their stern look. But in some cases, British soldiers get the last laugh. For example, a guy named Gary Weatherhead stood in the way of the marching military men who refused to break stride for anyone. While chatting away with his wife, he notices a firm shove. The man was quite embarrassed for standing in the way of the marching parade and really should have been paying more attention. Another tourist purposely grabbed a Queen's guard and she was viciously yelled at and she was pointed at with a rifle. Number 14. The Vagrancy Act Be careful what you ask for while you're visiting the United Kingdom. Although you might encounter some people asking for change from time to time while in the streets of London, according to the Vagrancy Act of 1824, this would be illegal, and you could certainly end up in the House of Correction. The act originally applied to England and Wales when it came to begging, and Scotland and Ireland were eventually added in 1871. It was used extensively in 1988, where roughly 573 people were prosecuted and convicted. Number 13. The Queen's Bedroom Thou shall not pass. For those of you who want to add Buckingham Palace to your Euro trip itinerary, be sure to exclude the Queen's Bedroom because it's not allowed for people to see your private sleeping quarters. The bedroom is heavily guarded. In 1982, a man by the name of Michael Foggin broke into Buckingham Palace. Scaling the 14-foot fence, he broke into the royal living quarters to wake her up and sat on the edge of her bed. Creepy but true. This was considered to be one of the biggest lapses in royal British security. Number 12. Kites According to Section 54 of the Metropolitan Police Act of 1839, you're not allowed to fly your kite if it's starting to bother people. This was an act of the Parliament of the United Kingdom which gave Metropolitan Police a lot more laws to learn and increase their activity. It specifically states that flying kites or playing games to the annoyance of others is not allowed. So that doesn't just include kites. If that game of kickball you're playing in the street starts to bother your neighbors, they might be able to call the police and have things broken up. Violators of this law could face a punishment of about 500 pounds. We'll cover some more laws from this strange act which covers laws regarding public nuisances. Number 11. No Imposters Have you considered dressing up as a British sailor or as a redcoat royal guard for Halloween this year? You might want to think twice about doing that since it could be breaking the law in the UK. They take it quite seriously over there and there was an act that was passed in 1906 known as the Seamen's and Soldiers False Characters Act. Under this act, there are three things illegal. Penalty on using or giving false statements for enlistment and also dressing up as one. Number 10. Furious Driving Have you ever felt the need for speed and were full of rage? Well, press the pedal to the metal somewhere else because furious driving is illegal under the Metropolitan Act of 1839. It's considered to be a nuisance by persons in thoroughfares and among the outlawed. This doesn't just go for people in cars either. People on bicycles can get ticketed for furious driving. The government refuses to specifically say exactly how many people have been in trouble for this, but some theorize that that number had doubled between 2015 to 2016. Many are curious as to why they wouldn't release that statistic, but some believe it's too vague of a law in any case. Number 9. Making Snow Slides Although the UK doesn't get as much snow as it does rain, occasionally they might get some powder. 
If an English schoolboy was trying to make a hill in which he could sled from, that would be illegal of course. Many of us have great childhood memories of sledding and playing around in the snow, but if it becomes a nuisance to society, then it's a whole nother story. Sometimes removing those snow hills from the street can take a lot of work and it might make someone's daily commute to work a little bit more difficult. All the snow is going to melt and make a big puddle and no one wants to get splashed. Number 8. Driving Through a Puddle Another reason why snow slides might be illegal is because driving through puddles can apparently leave you with a $5,000 fine. A person accidentally splashed a mother and her two children in Essex in January of 2014. Seems like a tough law considering how much rain this place gets. The mother claimed that the driver deliberately splashed the family and could have easily avoided doing so. Was this person possibly driving with fury too? This was actually considered to be under the violation of the Road Traffic Act, where driving through a puddle is specifically mentioned. Number 7. Improper Use of Twitter The UK has some of the strictest internet laws among Western countries, and you really gotta be careful about what you say here. It turns out that someone basically had to do some time for some stupid things they said. A student admitted to having posted some racially offensive comments following the untimely collapse of a soccer player named Fabrice Muamba. We won't repeat what he said, and he probably shouldn't have said it, but should the improper use of social media really impede on our civil liberty? The man named Liam Stacey was responsible for the post, and he was arrested at a student house in Swansea, Wales. Number 6. Don't Disrespect the Queen under the Racial and Religious Hatred Act of 2006, which our last guy was guilty of breaking, it states that those who speak or create art against the Queen is guilty of treason. The crime of treason is a hefty one and could possibly land you in jail for life, or worse. Any kind of Holocaust denial is illegal here, as well as basically anything that goes against fundamental British values. This includes going against democracy, the rule of law, individual liberty, and speaking out against religion. This is defined as extremism and definitely makes anyone think twice about hitting that post button at the end of a tweet. Many websites in the UK are blocked automatically by Wi-Fi providers, as if access to internet is some type of privilege that can be revoked at any time. Some free speech advocates have spoken out against some of these laws, saying that it leaves children in the dark about important issues. Number 5. Chopping Meat Too Loud these public nuisance laws in the UK are pretty much able to cover just about anything you do on a daily basis if other people can hear it. It even appears as though they have noise and nuisance officers monitoring how loud people are. A butcher had to go to court after being accused of repeatedly chopping meat too loud. The complaint was made by a resident who lived above the butcher shop and would be woken up early in the morning to the sound of chopping. The butcher had to limit his activity from the hours of 6am to 8am in order not to be a nuisance to the neighbors. Number 4. Whales to the Royal Family In the UK, there is a firm law that states that beach whales and sturgeons are royal property of the reigning monarch. If these creatures are discovered on the beach, they don't belong to any commoner and are uniquely suited for royalty. This wasn't such a strange law back during the reign of Edward II when catching one of these animals wasn't so easy. It's been referenced by Moby Dick that the head of the whale belongs to the king and the tail belongs to the queen. The law is still enforced to this day, and there's even an official named the Receiver of the Wreck who arrives at the scene where the animal has been caught. In 2004, a royal fish was caught in Swansea Bay, and a person who caught it was presented with a payment. Typically, they want to keep it alive so they can make some caviar. Number 3. Polish Potato Act While various foods are banned throughout the UK, one of the stranger ones we came across are potatoes that are specifically grown in Poland. The Polish Potatoes Order of 2004 makes it illegal to import into England potatoes which he or she knows to have originally been from Poland. The law was put into effect when there was an outbreak of ring rot in Poland. Ring rot is caused by a bacteria which will leave a ring-shaped rot around the potato. The infection will have a soft cheese-like texture to it and essentially make the potato useless. Although it's harmless to humans, it can completely destroy a farmer's yield if it gets spread. So keep your potatoes out of the UK, Poland. Your potatoes aren't welcome there. Number 2. Ding Dong Ditching Mischievous kids in the UK might get a frightening wake-up call when they find out their little games of Ding Dong Ditch are illegal. Or does that slightly make it more fun? Under the Town Police Clauses Act of 1847, this specific prank is listed. It states that willingly and wantonly disturbing any inhabitant by pulling or ringing any doorbell or knocking at any door without a lawful excuse is illegal. And number 1. Being Drunk in a Pub under the 1872 Licensing Act, it's technically illegal to be drunk at any place at any time if you're not on public property. That would technically make drinking at a pub illegal. 
The UK and Ireland are well known for their pubs where you can order all the beer and fish and chips you can tolerate. But this doesn't make any sense since the Licensing Act would make everyone found to be drunk on the licensed premises liable for a penalty of at least 200 pounds. It's believed that this law was enacted during a time in the Industrial Revolution in order to keep people from spending all day at the bar. But cheers, mate. Some laws were certainly made to be broken. So what did you guys think of that video? Be sure to hit like, comment, and subscribe, and check out some more of our videos. We got hundreds of them.